As of 6 p.m. yesterday, Ukraine's defense forces successfully repelled Russian attacks in strategic areas, while Russia continued its long-range assaults on various Ukrainian regions. Ukrainian forces held their ground in crucial zones such as Ohirtsev and Kharkiv, Belogorivka in the eastern region, and areas near the front lines in Donetsk like Novokalinove and Marienka, slowing Russia's attempts to penetrate these areas. Russia continued its extensive long-range offensives, launching nine missiles and ten airstrikes, alongside more than ten rocket attacks, inflicting substantial damage on civilian areas in cities like Kiev, Zhitomir, Kharkiv, Dnipro, Kriviri, Zaporizhzhia, Mykolaiv, and Donetsk. These attacks, carried out with a combination of cruise missiles, guided airstrikes, and rockets, aim to place heavy pressure on Ukraine's air defense and disrupt urban infrastructure. Additionally, Russia deployed four Iranian-made Shahed-136 drones, three of which were successfully intercepted by Ukraine's air defenses. The use of these drones illustrates Russia's combined strategy to weaken Ukrainian defenses from multiple angles. Belarus has actively supported Russia by providing infrastructure and airspace for attacks on Ukraine. This collaboration allows Russia to extend its capabilities in northern Ukraine and positions Belarusian forces for potential support of Russian operations, including training in air defense systems and tanks. This cooperation reduces Russia's logistical burden and poses a potential northern threat to Ukraine, compelling Ukrainian forces to maintain significant resources to defend this border. Ukraine's aviation and artillery forces executed significant counteroffensives, with 20 airstrikes targeting Russian strategic positions. 13 Russian ammunition concentration points and an additional support point were confirmed destroyed, along with seven Russian air defense installations weakening Russia's aerial defenses in the area. Additionally, Ukraine's air defenses intercepted five Russian cruise missiles, indicating a marked improvement in Ukraine's defensive capabilities. Ukrainian artillery targeted two Russian command posts, reducing Russia's ability to manage and coordinate its troops. Several Russian military concentrations and two ammunition depots were also struck, impacting Russia's logistical supply chain. These developments reflect Russia's continued use of long-range attacks on Ukrainian infrastructure to increase pressure. However, Ukraine's defenses remain resilient in crucial areas like Kharkiv, Luhansk, and Donetsk, significantly slowing Russian advances. Belarus's active support for Russia presents a growing concern as it offers Moscow an additional base for future operations.